Hello my friends and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War Stainless Steel and today we're going to see if we can take on the French around their capital of Paris. Um, I was going to try and get King Walloran onto this bridge here which Captain Etienne is currently fight, occupying. Me, but as you can see it's completely made up, well I say completely, it's, mo it's, it's like half the army is made up of catapults and trebuchets and manganels so we're not going to try and take that because they outrange me considerably. I have two sire. catapults to their six-ish. So we're gonna we're gonna ignore that, we're gonna see what the French do. I think I'm pretty much set at the moment. I think I did everything I needed to in the last episode, so we're just gonna start with a turn flip. They don't fear us, sir. And Bordeaux is they under siege again. To our walls. Okay, another fight here, although this time it looks like it's probably going to be more in my favour than the last one was. I mean, we won the last battle here because my cavalry did a huge amount of the work outside the walls. We managed to do quite a lot of damage with them, but this time around it looks like my infantry are actually going to be pretty decent here. Um, most of their units aren't that heavy. I could probably do quite a lot of damage with my three archer units and my towers before they even do anything. So we've got two, to uh, two towers, two, s two ladders, and four rams. Okay, this might, this should be okay. This Show should be okay. No mercy. Kill them all. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so let's start off and so we've got axes, 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 and are the other towers, it's going to be sword unit. No, it's going to be archers. Okay. Well, what I might do then, right, everything, everybody, get off the wall. Let me let me sort this out. Stick one of our archers here. Stick another one here. And we'll put another one here. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so we'll stick a sword unit on the end here. Actually, we probably want to put the biggest one with this siege tower. Put a small group here. Put a small group here. And my spear units. I'm going to stick here. I'm hoping to do a lot of damage with this arch unit against those archers. These archers against that ladder. And then these archers will sort of start off with this ladder and then work their way onto the siege tower. Right, everything else. That'll be group two. Now the spears can chill out down by the gate. Got my catapults. Nowhere really to put them so that they can shoot at the towers. I mean, I guess I could try here. That might be a good spot. As for this one, there's not really much of a chance, so I'm going to stick him over here. Oh, goodness sake. Why you do this, game? Why you do this? Okay, and my cavalry. I think I'll probably do the similar sort of thing I did last time. Although, they've got cavalry out there and they outnumber me, so I might actually keep my cavalry inside this time. That might be a smarter move. Keep my general down by the gate. 
just to give people morale. Quite a lot of merchant cavalry militia left. There we go. Alright, and shoot that tower. I'm going to use standard shot. Hopefully that will be a lot more accurate. Please tell me you're going for there still. Looks like they are. Oops, shot my own tower. Well, tower's blocking the shots now, so might as well just stop my catapults from firing. Please. Or at the infantry on the tower. The enemy have ladders. Some pretty good the shooting going on there. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. Might need to spare a spear unit over here. The enemy are battering down our gates. Right, um, our cunning foe has reached our walls with their siege tower. We must repel them. Start shooting at them. Shoot that unit. Shoot that unit. Go. Warm up. Although, maybe I won't need the. Nope, won't need these spears. Okay, get back over here. I'll just shoot that Viking Dregna. Drenga? Drengia? I don't know. My oh, spear unit's getting wrecked. <laughs> that one now. We need to sort of spread out the damage if we can, rather than just focusing on individual units. I do better damage when I shoot from angles, so focus on angles. Ha! Viking Raiders have already retreated. Enemy Norse archers up there are doing some decent damage. Gates at 54%. Well, we'll see if they send anything to this tower. If they don't, I'm going to have to pull these swordsmen across to those archers. In fact, actually, I might take these light men at arms now. Go. We can cover this ladder with my archers if, ne if necessary. Light men at arms, move. Uh, right, shoot those axes. I'm going to start taking care of some of this cavalry as well. Really doing any damage to this cavalry? Well, not a lot anyway. There's a few ca a few kills there, but blast their eyes! The enemy's ram is through our gates. One of my archers out of ammo. Other one is almost. At the very least, we're going to bloody a lot of this cav uh, a lot of these uh, cavalrymen to the point where. Um, They'll be easier to kill for my infantry. A 
I'm just going to move my cavalry down this way steadily. So it caused those enemy archers to rout as well, which I wasn't expecting. 4% for 38. we go. Enemy cavalry charging straight into my spear wall. St. George, save us. The enemy have the walls. Look to our defense or all will be lost. Something's routing there. Spear militia. Hold the line. Oh, the U-shape. Hold it. Hold it. Nothing's coming out of that siege tower. Let's head across with this sport, this sword unit. Losing a lot of spear militia here. A lot of spear militia. Oh boy. What? Oh my god, my guys ran straight into a mass guy. He wasn't even paying attention. Those swords. <coughs> excuse me, those swordsmen started off at like 90 men. And the they very much are not. They have lost half their men. Uh oh. I'm going to need to pull everything into this. <laughs> right, cavalry. Pull out the way for a second. Catapults. Fire at will. We do flaming shot into the t into the centre here with our catapults. Hopefully, my spearmen can hold anything back for a short time. Go for those feudal knights. There goes my spear defense. Oh, my guys are all breaking everywhere. No. The enemy might be up to steal a victory here. Oh, these guys are being attacked now. Ah, uh, no, all my spears. Alright, cavalry. Get in there. There's not a lot we can do now, so we might as well just fight. Any cavalry heading off to our town centre. Damn, this is going to be a bloody result. Regardless of the outcome. <laughs> Take on these Huskars down. Uh, feudal knights. Oh, you failed miserably. City. Break these feudal knights, damn it. Stop getting cut down. <laughs> there we go, bodyguard. Thank you. 
Nice. Okay, now we're starting to get somewhere. Not sure what the enemy feudal knights are doing. Okay, they're broken. They're broken. Uh, spear militia? No, let's not go for spear militia. All right, cavalry, we're going to go this way. Circle our way around back to the town centre, please. Archers push forward. Why are they retreating? I'll just protect that, those catapults, please. While my cavalry goes and saves the town center. Oh, wow, you guys are getting attacked by Fuel Knights. I didn't even realize. I'm, I'm too busy focusing on my gate and things. Hey, Viking Raiders. Don't mind me. Just passing through. Okay. Do Why mind me, then. George, our foe has lost control of the city. Yes. Routed them. Routed them. Cut them as they run. Right. Take on these Huskull cavalry, please. Oh, my guys are dropping. I think. I think that was most of my guys. Yeah, I think it was. By St. George, our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. All right, so we we may have just snatched a victory from the clutches of defeat. Force everything over this way. Still got a lot of fuel and ice to take care of. I'm hoping they're going to come and take on, take on my cavalry. Yep, they are. Fantastic. At least my infantry can deal with their infantry. And they routed. Way. To get up here. If we continue like There's this, my phone going off. Alright, let's charge out. What's left? Oh, the feudal knights came back. Just standing there while I cut them down. Right, all of my main cab got to there. Cavalry militia. I'm going to send after the infantry because they're weakest. There we go, routed them. Okay, so we've got some spear militia climbing the ladders over on the right, but that's fine. We can take care of them in a bit. The enemy army flees the field. Or well, we can deal with them now as they route. Down. Fantastic. Generally, you might as well go over here and wait for them to get off their ladders. Do 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 do. Okay, what's over in this corner? 
single unit. Take him out. You guys failed to get those three guys. Four guys. I'm disappointed. Ah, we'll just leave it there. 895. That was cutting it close. <coughs> that was cutting it very close. The Third Lateran Council. Another meeting of the Catholic Church has occurred which condemns the Wal the Waldensian, Waldensian and Cather heresies, as well as enacting new canon law. One law decrees that only the cardinals shall have the privilege of electing the Pope. It also forbids tournaments, organizing asylums for lepers, and calls on the princes or um yeah also causes on the princes to suppress heresy, requires every cathedral church to appoint a master to teach the clerics and the poor scholars of the church. This action helps launch the cathedral schools that later became universities. Finally, the council calls for a prohibition on Christmas supplying Sac Saracens with shipbuilding materials. Oh, Christians, sorry, not Christmas, Christians. Sire, a great council has been called. Local priests wish to attend. Do you wish to fund this? It will cost 1,500 florins, but may aid your priests in attaining spiritual wisdom. Yes, let's do that. Gaza is unhappy. When are they not? Um, I think I should probably recruit a catapult in case I get kicked out. Uh... Put a couple of them. Cairo's fine. Still got loads of still got loads of merchants being recruited, which is good. At your service. So we've got the gold over there. Silk for 64. 207 for cotton. 344 for sugar. Take that, please. Okay, so York's finished up here. Edinburgh. And Bordeaux, which is now currently under siege again. Dock is cheap. Come, Come face, face me. me. Yes. Okay, so I can't. So I can get around no. to here, we back him up, and then take that. Lord. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> Who do you want dead? French leader, twenty-eight percent. Someone removed. Thirteen percent. Who do you want dead? Ooh, family member, Name ninety percent. Take him out. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Family member dead. Need someone removed. Who do you How about the factioner? Eighteen percent. Maybe you have not. A target in mind, my king. Name I have no time. idea what the success rates of these are. Oh, council chambers. I could blow them up. Years to build, minutes to destroy. Or he can just fail at eighty-four percent. You know, as you do. Okay. So, what the hell am I going to do up here? I do not know. Let's use my ships to spy up here for a second. Yes, sir. One of them. Okay. Because I may not have much of a choice but to march Marching, north sir. and try and take it. Or I could recruit a load of mercenaries to help me do that. So, Orders. merge them. I only have one little bit of swordsman. Let's recruit a couple of spears here. Repair that. My king. As you command. Head up to here. Aye, no ships on there, which is gone. fine. Oh, sorry, no infantry on board those ships, which is good. Okay, so if we can take... Bergen. I'm hope hoping they're only going to have that one unit when we get there. But I'm going to recruit yes. some mercenaries in the next turn flip anyway. Um. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, please, did my guy get killed or something in the riots? Because that just sucks ass.
Don't you take him. He's got a valuable gu Oh, you dick. <laughs> Damn. The King of Hungary is dead. Well, I guess we'll, uh... Hildegard of Bingen dies. Renowned for her visions, treat uh, treatises about theology, poetry, visions, natural history, and medicinal uses of plants, animals, trees, and stones. She's the first composer whose biography is known. She founded a vibrant convent at Rupertsburg where her musical plays are performed and had advised bishops, popes, and kings. Isn't that nice? Rioting in Gaza. <sighs> Gaza, why service. do you plague me so? Um, I should probably get some more cav. I should probably get some more archers as well, come to think of it. Let's just fill up the last three slots with them. That'll be fine. <laughs> Shit. Ships ready. Crusader States, get out of here. Yes, my lord. Clear victory. The enemy fleet. That the fleet's going to be a little bit more difficult, so I'm not going to do that. A fine day to sail. So Nottingham. Oh, 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 oh. My king. Mercs. Ugh, of course they did. Of course they did. Okay. Screw it. Get them all. Wish they'd never been born, Strength sire. ratio one to one. Besieging Siege time eight melee. turns. Damn. Oh my money is a little. I got such a little amount of money. Right, so I can attack. Rhymes, rhymes, reams, rhymes. Um, I'm kind of maybe hoping this army is going to camp outside. If it does, I can attack the army. We can have a big battle outside. Hopefully, I can take the city that way. Yes. Command me, sir. What's this army made up of? A lot of leash. sort of heavyish stuff and some catapult units in there. My, My throwaway army has one cav unit, no artillery. Great. Sire. We need to take these cities, so Yes. Um My Lord. Let's do it. Wish, sire. Laying seed, sire. Build those. Go. Command me, sire. Yes. I will only address you in battle. Is my king a night fighter? Please tell me he is. Oh, he's not. Oh. Oh. Well, this army might be too big coward. to come into the battle. Hmm. Be gone. You are not my liege. We shall slaughter them, my lord. Ah. They're dead once we breach the walls, sire. Okay, most of the infantry stuff is pretty light. I could run down their cav their artillery pieces with my cavalry because they're going to come in slowly. The rest of the army is going to go ahead of them and they'll be on their own. It's fine. So we've got the prince. We've got the faction heir in there as well, Prince Raoul. All right, let's see if we can take out the king. I don't think I'm going to get it on 28%. Holy crap, I did. I'm, just, I'm pretty sure we killed a French king like that previously as well. Or at least a French, ro uh, French royal or family member of some kind. Dude, Edgar, you are... I never want to run into you in a dark alley. Let's put it that way. So, now we have King Raoul. Who's this? That's a French general... General, we I can't see a faction air. Okay, there's a French province here apparently. Well, that's a pain. Do I can I recruit a spy? I can I have a spy here though? No, I might as well just use him. 
with ah, Dijon. Desire. Okay. God's servant. Thirty-nine percent. Who do you? Am I trying to send an assassin? Your orders, hey, diplomat. Sire. Um. Right, diplomat. Where am I going to send you? Who am I at war with? Who can I maybe try and get peace with? I don't want to get peace with France for obvious reasons. So, Venice, Portugal, Novgorod, Norway, Crusader States, Fatimid Caliphate, and Republic of Genoa. Okay, so we're going to try and go for the Republic of Genoa instead. Uh, see if we can maybe get a ceasefire with them. Demanding. Uh, trade rights is balanced. Not likely. Yeah, rejected. Okay. Yes, But... From past experience, sometimes starting the process of diplomacy, even if your offer gets refused by the AI, kind of prompts the AI to actually offer you something in return. So maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll offer us something. In the meantime, let's send this assassin down here. We're going to try and take care of him if we can. Name thy target, sire. Rest assured. I think I had. Yeah, I do. At your service. Fifty-five percent. Hope you can get him. Coin, Independent merchant, service. seventeen percent, and you, service. sir, twenty-five percent. Oof. Coin, Ugh, Lord. how painful. Uh, hopefully, we can take Bergen. That'll at least remove heavy, heavy infantry recruitment point for the Norwegians, and I'll be able to retrain my heavier stuff, which would be brilliant. Ready. Two ships. Let's see if we can take them out. And the and yeah. To board. Nicely done. Actually, let's blockade the port. Let's screw up their side. income. We have their port blockaded, okay. So we got a bit of progress made there. We defended ourselves. We're now sieging two of France's remaining four provinces. So what does that mean in terms of com campaign completion? So we need to hold 25 regions including Jerusalem, and we need to wipe out Scotland and France. Well, we've wiped out Scotland. We're on 20 out of 25 regions. Um, so if we take these four belonging to France, it's 24, and then Jerusalem could be the 25th region. So we could actually complete the campaign in one go by getting two, uh, like killing two birds with one stone situation. So, okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to focus on France. I'm going to do whatever I can with the public order down here just to keep my people from rioting, although I think I'm probably going to fail here. <clears throat> and then I will try and take Jerusalem in one go. And we'll bring the campaign to a close. Do 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 do. Okay. 252 upkeep. 180. Nah, I'll keep the Crusaders. I like the Crusader guys. Right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. I thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next part where we will have the Battle of Paris and potentially the Battle of Reims as well. But we're going to go for the Battle of Paris next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you then.